I love cooking vegetables over the grill because it just brings out a bit more of the complex flavours. Hey, I'm Kevin. I'm from Golden Hills Brewery in Diamond Creek. For me, the sign of a great barbecue is giving people new experiences that they haven't tasted before. I'm going to cook a cauliflower steak with a grilled cabbage and apple slaw, some grilled broccoli with salsa verde, and a barbecue sweet potato in a smoked paprika and butter sauce. So I'm going to start by putting the sweet potato into the foil and you always want to season everything. I put them in the corner so then they can steam away nicely. And this is for the cauliflower steaks. I cut on each side of the stalk so it keeps a nice shape and when you grill it, it's not going to all fall apart on you. First I'm going to grill the cauliflower and then after that I'm going to finish it in the cast iron pan with a miso glaze. You should be able to get it nice and smooth once you add the soy sauce. So next I'm going to get the salsa verde ready for the grilled broccoli dish and the longer that that sits, the more that the flavours develop into that sauce. And you want enough oil to cover all of the herbs completely. So now I'm just going to grill the cabbage. You want to peel all the outside leaves off because the stalks don't cook in them. I'm going to cut it into eights so that on the grill we can cook it all the way through so it's nice and soft. Now I'm going to put the cabbage aside into a tray so then I can oil it and season it when I do the broccoli. With the broccoli, I'm going to just cut off the end give a light drizzle over the cabbage and the broccolini. I put the cabbage on one of the hot spots on the grill and you want to get a really good char on there. And then the broccoli, you want to cook that super fast. Next step is to get your cauliflower steaks on your seasoning tray. And you want to give them a good oil and a season before you put them onto the grill. This barbecue, it's really good because it has nice cast iron plates on there. The more that you use it, it's just going to keep getting better and better over time. Once the broccoli's got a nice char on it, you want to give it a good flip. So now I'm going to move the broccoli up to the warming rack and I put it up there so it doesn't lose any flavour or textures or the charredness from it, but it still keeps it nice and warm so it's going to be ready with everything else. The good thing about the Matador barbecue is their window, so you can see everything that you're cooking. One of the best things about this barbecue is it's also got a side burner, so you don't need to worry about going inside, cooking on your stove top, you can just do it all out here on the barbecue. So I'm just putting my miso on top now of the cauliflower, get a nice caramelization with the butter. I love cooking because every day is different. I just love cooking with so many different ingredients and also teaching people along the way, passing down what I've learned.